Welcome to Lindquist. This video tutorial presents the project transfer from AutoCAD to Lindquist. A requirement for this feature is the installed CADVAN plugin on your AutoCAD platform. You can find the plugin under Downloads. Just follow the link in Installation Guide. The plugin supports AutoCAD 2010 and higher. Open your architecture drawing in AutoCAD. Please note that the scale of the drawing shall be in millimeters. One meter on the drawing corresponds to 1000 millimeters. In AutoCAD, the CADVAN plugin ribbon can have different views and functionalities. But for Lindquist, we need only the space panel, which is available on each version. The space panel contains two commands, Add Space and Lindquist Upload. Add Space creates areas which you can upload to Lindquist. The command offers two options, rectangular rooms and non-rectangular rooms. For rectangular rooms, you just have to click on two opposite corners and the rectangular space will be created. Activate the command Start with the lower left corner and finish with the upper right. Just easy. The non-rectangular spaces can be created by activating the add space command. Type P followed by enter to activate the polyline or activate the command and use the right mouse click menu and activate polyline. Start to redraw the room corner by corner. During the drawing process, you can press U to undo the last click and jump back to the previous corner. Close the room with D for done. If you'd like to correct spaces, please mark it, correct it by moving the snap points. The AutoCAD Properties field contains information for the spaces. You should, in minimum, add the name per space. All further information you add will be transferred to Lindquist and make it easier to select the right devices to this room later on. But you can of course add all information in Lindquist as well. Mark multiple spaces if you like to change properties for more than one room. The thickness is the only property outside of the Kaplan space information that is relevant for the space. It defines the total height of the room without suspended ceiling. I like for this sample to correct this default value for both of my created rooms to a height of 2800 mm. By the way, the Kaplan spaces will be designed by a layer called Kaplan space which is in normally black. Change the color if you like to highlight the spaces as I've done here in my drawing. Ok, as soon as you have created all spaces, you are ready to upload to Lindquist. Activate Lindquist Upload. Mark all spaces you like to upload and press enter. You have to be a registered user in Lindquist to be able to use the project area. Type in your login data and accept. If you're not registered, press register and follow the registration instructions. Now you have the opportunity to import the room to an existing project or create a new. I create a new project and a new floor. If the import is completed, this page is shown. Use the link in the Climate Designer to present the project. The tree shows the project structure. To rename the project, click on the project name and use the right-click menu to rename. Or scroll down to the information area. Here you can change the project name and add project-related information. To rename the floor name, Activate the floor and use the right click menu point rename. An active floor in the tree shows a map with the position of all rooms in this floor in the design area. 
to activate a room, make a double click in the map or a single click in the tree on the specific room. The information area underneath the design area presents all room information and requirements. If you have already added values in AutoCAD, you can find them here, change them or add more. If you'd like to change values for multiple rooms, just mark the rooms with active control button on your keyboard and change the value you like to. For example, the sound requirements. Some tools inside the top menu bars of the design area offer some design relevant commands. You can activate and deactivate building elements like walls and floors or make them transparent. You can visualize the occupied zone and change the background color. To add air devices or chill beams, activate the room in the tree and use the right click menu to find a suitable device or calculate a device if you already know what type of device you like to build in. I will explain this process in another video. In this tutorial I will just show in a fast track how to import air devices by using the airborne calculator. I like to import air devices and already know I like to use type PKA. My choice is for pieces and Lindquist calculates the optimized size and airflow per device. I accept the selection and add the selected devices to my project. I could close the add to project process now and go on selecting exhaust devices and repeat the add to project command or go on to the indoor climate designer to watch my selection. What I like to do now. The selected devices are placed in a symmetric position. In the edit mode of the room you can move and edit all devices. The view mode is for presentation issues. The result for this room is a low sound value and no draft. A result that can immediately be controlled in the result table. You can print each room individual in a PDF room report. The report contains the result values and images for the placement of the devices and technical sheets of each selected device. Another way to present the results is the room book. All rooms and results of the project will be listed in an Excel file. Click on the project name and choose Room Book in the right click menu. I hope you will enjoy this easy way to transfer room data from AutoCAD drawings into Lindquist. Please find more videos about the selection and calculation of air and water devices in other videos. Bye bye, your Jan Behrens.